Here's the Elliott Wave forecast from March 4th, 2013. An S&P five-day, one-minute chart. It's a possibility that um, you got we got five waves up in an impulse, a corrective two to exactly 0 0.618, and we could be entering a three, and we need to take out at least 1525 to set that up. But the futures are down about six in S&P, so we might gap down to test uh, at least 1512 or 1511. And in order for this setup to to form into an upper three, we need to hold at least approximately 1507.5 or 0.618 to the downside. So if we gap down 11 and break below 1501, then this entire third wave setup would just fail. But if you hold 1507.5 and, and then rally back over 1525, that's up an upper three, and the highest target would be as high as uh, 60, about 1565. So this, this could be one, two, and three. And um, again, we need to hold at least 1507.5 to for this to be at least an upper three setup for the Dow. Again, this could be 1.6182 into a three, and it takes that 14,140 that'll set up a third wave. But the futures are down about 60, I believe. So um, we're going to test 14,025, and we need to hold 14,000 and then break over 14,105 to set up a third wave, and eventually 14,140 to set up a three. But um, support to the downside again is around 14,000, and that needs to hold to, in order for there to be an attempt at a three to the upside. I don't have any posi positions right now, and I had a stop to buy. It didn't fill last week, uh, so I don't have any positions. But um, if we gap down and then rally back over, four, uh, excuse me, rally back over approximately 1520 after gapping down, I might might re-enter um, a trade or stop to buy around um, around that level. A uh, gap down and then rally over that would set up a three. And for NASDAQ, if this is one deep two into a three, you'll need to take out at least 3182 to set up a three. But the gap down is taking it down to around 3155 approximately. So we need to hold at least 3147 and then rally back over 3170 to set up a three. So as important tomorrow we need, um, for NASDAQ would be uh, 3147. Support for tomorrow for S&P would be about 1507.5. And for the Dow would be approximately 14,000. That's a wrap.